Hello and welcome to another video. Um, it's been a while, hasn't it? But um, I've been actually quite busy lately with another project, which is nothing to do with bongos. But um, you might notice I'm actually sat at a different bongo here. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, this fabric looks very much different to what I did. Um, that's because I, I have had a massive bongo project on, which is um, doing this bongo. Um, I've completely converted it. Um, with the same uh, layout design as mine, except for the kind of sidewall of the kitchen. But um, this one's in a beautiful kind of baby blue or a sky blue sort of colour with a light grey trim. And it has turned out oh, pretty damn sweet, I have to say. Um, I'm actually just waiting for the uh, lady to come and pick it up. And um, hopefully she'll be happy with it. Let's take a look at it inside and then you can have a good old look and that'll be cool. But before we look at the final results, let's take a look at the van first, as it came to me. As you can see, it's a lovely white, uh, it's actually a tin top van, this one, so it doesn't have a pop top. It's something I think the lady might actually put in later. But as you can see, it's almost empty, except for the bench seat, which has to be converted into the flatbed. Um, and we decided to keep the carpets because they're actually in pretty good condition, these carpets, and they're really good quality. Um, so we've just got to build a kitchen unit as well, and obviously the small seat, and all the other bits that go with this conversion. So, here we go, let's crack on. So I'm not going to show you the full build for this, we're just going to be skimming over because it's I've got all the stuff in previous videos. But here you can see I've got the uh, kitchen unit in production now, and got the cooker slider drawer, the switch is all installed. And um, yeah, it's all starting to come together now. It's taken quite a few <laughs> weeks to get to this point. Um, uh, this is actually not going to have a fridge in it, so I'm actually putting a shelf inside here and it's going to have a front kind of door, a magnetic door for the front there. And um, oh, there's the worktop, looking pretty good. That's already been uh, prepped and ready to go. So we're going to move on to the electrical wiring next. And here we go. Tons of electrical wiring to do. Yeah, there's quite a bit to do. <laughs> um, but um, it all comes together pretty damn nicely. We now have power in the van. I like this little socket, it looks pretty cool. And behind there is a 12 volt transformer, which is powering the USB at the moment, but it will also power the cables here, which will go to the kitchen unit. And I've got my laptop plugged into the power socket, so all is looking pretty good so far. Right, the electrics are now wired up to here. As you can see, my laptop is working. I've got a heater working. I've got USBs working. Now this, the battery isn't actually plugged in at the moment. The actual leisure battery, because this is all running off the transformer, which is behind there. So both of these USBs will be running, which is cool. So I'm actually plugged into the mains now. We're nearly there. Looking pretty damn good this. So another addition that the client wanted was a direct 4x4 awning attaching. Uh, so I had to make the brackets for this the same as my van and luckily I've got all the, the patterns for this so it wasn't too difficult. So they needed welding and spraying and that's nicely on the van. Um, these are great because if she ever gets a pop top installed these will work with the pop top as well. So yeah that's cool. So now it's time to move on to the upholstery. So I am moving on quite a bit here, but this fabric does look lovely. This was chosen by the customer and supplied by her. So I think this looks quite good. I thought it was a bit thin at first, but do you know what? It's, it feels quite durable. So I'm quite happy with it. Um, I've already covered a few of the seat pads here and the corners have come out nice and crisp. I've used the same technique I used on my one where I use a plywood backing and then it's stapled to that. And this is coming together really quickly. Um, yeah, I think this is a really good system to do upholstery for a camper van seat. So yeah, I'm going to crack on and get these sorted. So I've put the seat pads in the van now just to check they fit okay. And I've got the seat belt holes all stitched up and they're looking nice and crisp. The whole thing is fitting lovely. The lighting circuits are all done and the little stove is now in its little house. And that's looking good. Underneath it is a little fire guard for it as well and beside the kitchen unit you can see a little table um, that makes it part of the bed platform Got the lovely timbre door and that's the cupboard space there as you can see the uh, fuse box and that electrical wiring is detachable so you can simply unbolt that bracket and lift the unit out um, there's a little seat here and again this is a removable item you can just undo those two bolts and it will lift out so you can check your engine oil 
behind the passenger seat. Um, there's a little desktop tidy there that the lady wanted, so hopefully she'll fix that on at some point. Um, got the grey water container all sorted, all the plumbing's in. Pretty simple design really. Um, no tap on this one, just like mine. And here's another thing that uh, I think is pretty cool. So she's going to not have the fridge in this van, but she wanted to have the uh, ability to have one in the future if she wanted. So we've just got like a little shelf in there. But I've put the electrical socket in there for the fridge. So it's at the back just up there, just out of the way. So you just plug your fridge in and boom, you can turn your fridge on there if you ever wanted to. But at the moment, she just wants a, a shelf and a door. So that's just a magnetic door. So that's pretty nice. Um, here's the under seat drawer, just like mine this one is, so uh, yeah, just massive drawer, that absolutely fantastic. Get tons of storage in there, so well, that's that done. Hello, so I am now back in my van again, and um, I got the upholstery finished, uh, that's looking really good. Put it in the van, it's all fitting really nicely, so I decide I can take it out of the, uh, the garden now and actually put it back on the drive because I've just got the last sort of few bits to tinker with and um, then we're golden. I thought that's it, pretty easy. Um, not so easy as it turns out, there's a slight hiccup in that plan. So prior to this uh, moving it back out, we've had an absolute like ton of rain come down. Um, and there's, there's been all sorts of weather conditions during this build. There's been snow, rain, there's been the wind. It's been, it's been quite, a, quite a stormy time. And I didn't realize that the garden has turned into a bog, the worst I've ever seen it. And I backed up onto the garden and instantly got the van completely stuck. And I've got two massive trenches now in the middle of my garden, which looks great. It looks superb. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I thought, right, OK, so we've got it stuck. Managed to get it out by lowering the tire pressure and using uh, bits of wood and things and managed to get it out uh, back onto the stones again. But we thought we can't risk it getting stuck again. So the next day, my wife had the idea to lay all paving slabs down and create like a nice little path for it. And that's what we did. We basically laid all the slabs down and then boom we got it out in the end i uh, had to completely wash the van because it was uh, quite muddy by that point so now i've got it on the drive i've finished everything i think we should uh, take a look at the uh, the final results and uh, take it from there So there we go. I really hope you enjoyed watching that video. Um, the customer picked up the van and she was over the moon with it. She seemed to absolutely love it. I mean, I loved it. I thought it looked absolutely fantastic. I was really happy with how it turned out. Yes, I think she's still really enjoying it. Um, she's kind of posted on various Facebook groups and it's had really good reactions. Um, I've been really happy with the responses and everything. And I've had quite a few inquiries off the back of that alone. So that's pretty good, isn't it? So uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So yeah, I'm really pleased that you've been watching my videos um, throughout this year. And uh, I've got lots more to do next year. So here's wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you next year. So thanks for watching. Cheers.